Hello, I hope you are doing well and having an awesome day. Just reaching out to you with my weekly newsletter, and this week we're going to discuss here briefly the ARM, the Adjustable Rate Mortgage. I was listening to the Ramsey Show this morning, and he was talking about an article from Experian uh, discussing the ARM and if it's appropriate for people to get into homes. And the short answer is he feels no, and I agree. I don't think it, it's a smart decision. And I'll go over a little bit about my opinions and feelings on the topic and a little bit of a description of what the arm is. I will also provide links to the Ramsey video and the Experian articles that this is regarding. So an arm is an adjustable rate mortgage where it's fixed for a short period of time and then it could adjust. So there's a little bit of a gamble there that your, your rates are going to go down after the um, fixed period and that they will adjust either the same or lower. But if the rates go higher, it's definitely not going to be to your advantage when that happens and you're paying a high interest rate. So, you know, it's just too much of a gamble for my comfort level. I don't like it. That's why they lost popularity and they're coming back now because people are just trying to get into homes and they're feeling probably a little bit of desperation with the interest rates being what they are and they want to get those monthly numbers down. So they also might be gambling on the fact that maybe they could refinance or sell the home within the five years. Let's say it's a five-year fixed rate adjustable mortgage and then it adjusts that they're going to be able to sell or refinance in that period of time. The fact of the matter is life is very, very dynamic. There could be a, a health issue, a job issue, uh, a market condition issue, anything that affects the ability to either sell or refinance that home. And if you're in that situation, now you have that unknown about the adjustments that are going to occur. One of the things that I do like to entertain is a two one buy down. And with the two one buy down, you're buying down the rate for a period of time. And after like two, normally two one means two years. And then, and then you're going to go to the full rate. And I'm, I'm okay with people doing that to keep their costs down as long as you're budgeting for the higher rate. So the intent on that one also is after a couple of years, maybe the rates are lower and if everything's good in your life and in the world and you can refinance, you can get into that lower rate and it's a wonderful, it's a win-win. You got the lower rate for a couple of years, but at least after those couple of years with a temporary buy-down, like a 2-1 buy-down, you, you know what it's going to be after the two years. So what I always implore people to do is to look at the math, look at the period of the rate after the two years. Can you afford it after the two years? What does that look like in your budget? If it's affordable, given your current monetary circumstances, that you're going to be able to afford that higher rate in year three and you want to buy it down, go for it. Because then at least you know you're in an affordable situation after the two-year period, right? And if rates come down and you could refinance it, well, it's a home run, right? But So with the adjustable, it's too much of a variable. And maybe you can, and if you, if you can't get out of it and you're setting yourself up with it unknown about how high it could go, it could become an unaffordable thing which brings you to the foreclosure situation. Not a, not a desirable thing. So I don't like it. You can listen to the Ramsey video and read these articles from Experian. Come to your own conclusion. I'd love the comments. Please let me know if you want to hop on a call. If you want me to connect you to a lender, I'd be happy to do that as well. And, you know, just it's, it's another thing that you're going to be presented with as far as the options go. I'm giving a thumbs down on it. 2-1 buy down in, in certain situations. Yeah. A permanent rate buy down in certain situations. Yeah, let's have a conversation. Talk to the mortgage professional. See what works with you and your particular situation. And again, hit me up if you have any questions. Jim Alfano, uh, sold by Jim Alfano on the socials and with the Brook team and EXP Realty, 203-408-1693. I will put the links either in the description or in the comments. All righty, have a great day. Give me a call or a text. I hope to speak to you soon.